Paulo Gino. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was ease. We were debating who got to go next. Laura or I, so I guess I lost. He, he, did, he did say some big things about you, so he. Uh, oh, I didn't want to hear it. We're just trying to keep our head up. So, no, it's uh, have a lot of fun. Uh, we're in the recruiting phase right now. The coaches are out on the road. The head coach isn't allowed to go out on the road, but with the changes in the, in the portal, uh, every weekend we've got visitors coming in. We had three in this weekend. We've got a kid that's coming in tonight. So it's just an ever-changing changing landscape in college football. Which, uh, you try your toes. That's for sure. How about this event, your first event, like for this? But you've been doing a whole lot of stuff. What do you expect here? I have no idea. I just, I think just interacting with people that are supporters of UConn and hopefully UConn football. I mean, just taking their questions and hopefully you know, being able to answer some of the questions that they have about where our program is headed and things that we're doing and you know, what we're going to really work hard to be all about. And it's always fun for me just to be amongst people that are passionate about institution that I'm working for. You know, I love that connection. I love to hear the questions because it gives me an idea of what people are thinking and uh, try to address them as we go. Have you gotten to talk to the other coaches, the guys who are here today? Have I over the course of that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I spent a lot of time, uh, I, I don't want to say a lot of time, but uh, I mean, I've been to a lot of games. So I've, you know, I've tried to see every sport play multiple times, but I've gotten to spend a little time with, uh, with Danny and Gino the first week I was here. Uh, not so much with Laura, but uh, Coach Penders and I speak every once in a while. Uh, one of the great things about being on a college campus and being a coach on a college campus is being able to interact with coaches in other sports. We've done good coaches and good coaches, and obviously we have a legend you know, on our campus. And so whenever you can, you can you know, glean information from someone like that, it can help you with an amazing opportunity to try to take advantage of it. Gino, well, Gino did say, you know, like, if you can't do it here, then it can't be done. <laughs> he didn't say that. Yeah, no, he didn't. There's no pressure, Gino. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you what, it's nice to have that support. And I have felt nothing but support since I got here. And uh, it's, it's, really, it's really incredible. And when you're around guys like Coach Penders is over here, you know, they're, they just won the Big East regular season tournament, and you're around uh, Gino and, and Danny, and you really everyone else on this campus. So just a high level of, of expectation, a very high standard. And uh, so you know, I take it just as a challenge. You know, we have to be able to meet the standard of, of UConn athletics. And it's not easy to do, but you know, I like our thing, so I kind of relish it. Uh, you know, like when I go to a game, like, I like to watch Kip and I like to watch Jim on the side. I like to watch like, Coach Hurley because they all they all do it a different way and they're all very successful. You know, there's nothing more fascinating than trying to read Gino's you know, work and talking to girls and talking to these athletes in the world. Or I watch Danny and uh, he's intense, he's passionate, uh, he's emotional. Yet I never once in all the games that I've been with this seen him negative towards one of his players during the game. I'm sure he's hard on him in practice, but he's always, always a good And, uh, you know, when Coach Penders, I would like to think of the games that are sitting around, back behind the dugout, and he's the more calm, and he's directing things, you know, never getting out of control, and I think that's really good for him as a coach. So I'm able to learn from him. Can you explain the coaching? The hard coaching took place in the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, and Sunday. Saturday, it's about being in the room and supporting them and making sure you know, they, they can count on you and that they can depend on you having their best interest in mind and being supportive of them.